Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 6 of the tactics game in Unity. In this episode we will import the character model and build the animator controller for this character. So today we are going to learn how to use animator controller and import this beautiful model done by Declan Mohan. His discord and contacts in the description. And you can get this model with animations absolutely for free in the description. You can use this model and animations in your project. You are not allowed to redistribute or resell this model. You only allowed to ship this model as part of your game. After downloading the package, unpack the zip archive and import everything that is inside this zip archive into the project. This kind of asset is made possible by support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to see more assets and me doing this job full time, you can support me on Patreon or on YouTube and get rewards like project files and be shown on the screen right now. Thank you very much. Good. Now you have all those files. Before we begin animating, we need to build the character on the scene. Let's make separate scene. Let's call it an animation test scene. So now I want to bring your attention to the bottom left corner. From now on, at the beginning of the each tutorial, you will see the latest version of the models package. Inside your package you will have a notepad file with the current version of the package and some additional information. If your version is lower than the version shown on the screen, I advise you immediately look into description and download latest version of the package to update the package. Simply unpack the package into the asset folder. To keep all the assets consistent, keep all assets I gave you in this folder. This way assets will be able to overwrite changes automatically. Remember, updates might overwrite something and break animations or prefabs or some other stuff. Drop the character model and weapon model on the scene. Now let's build the material for the character. Select the armor mesh and drag and drop the armor texture. Then we want to add the occlusion map onto the material. Good. Do the same for the base mesh. Good. Now set the sword in the same fashion. Now we want to build an animator controller. An animator controller allow you to arrange and maintain a set of animation clips and associated animation transition for a character or object. The animator controller has references to the animation clips used within it and manages the various animation clips and the transitions between them using a state machine, which could be thought of as a flowchart of animation clips and transitions which tells what kind of animation your model should be playing. Small warning. In later version names of the animations or the, or the place where they are stored might change. Don't be scared, the main naming convention will stay the same. Check the included notepad for additional information. Use search or join the discord to seek help. 
Select the animation. To make it easier to read the names of the animation, I change the view of the project by holding the control and using scroll on mouse. Select the two-handed idle animation. Drag it into the inspector of the night character main object. This will create an animator controller, which will lead into the idle immediately. To see that, double-click into the controller. To see the model better, let's move the camera. If I launch the game, the animation will only loop once. So we need to tell to the game that this animation should be looping. To do that, select the file with animation in the project, find the idle animation and click on loop time. Do the same for run. Any animations which will be looped need to be marked as loopable. Apply the changes. Good. Now the idle animation looping well. Now we want to introduce a transition to the run and from the idle and run to the attack. Create states for 200 attack and 200 run. Make transition between them by pressing right mouse button and pressing make transition. Good, but we need to control those transitions. We need to have a set of parameters to tell to our model when this model is supposed to run, when this model is supposed to attack, or when this model does nothing and idle. Create two bool parameters, one for move and one for attack. Now in transition, we need to tell that when the move is true, then we run. If it's not, return to the idle state. On the transition between idle and attack, when we transition into attack, make condition if attack is true. But on the exit out of attack, we want to specify besides the attack being false that move is false too, because attack can transition into moving too.
Now if I will manipulate the parameters, you will see that our character will move and will attack. But it feels awkward, like it takes some time for animator to catch up with the parameters. This is happening because animation state wants to finish playing the animation before transitioning to new state. To avoid this we need to turn off the has exit time parameter. You have to do this for each transition which you want to start transitioning the moment the condition is met. Good. Now let's put the sword into the hands. To do that we need to play the sword into what is called leading bone, which is right now called sword death air. Oh, there is an error with the rig. The rotation had to be modified to be placed correctly into hands. Add minus 90 degree into X rotation. If you are from the future and sword is already placed well into hands, you don't have to change anything. We're done with the animator controller and setting up the rig. We will be actually using this model and animation in the next episode. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. If you're interested in seeing what will come out of this, please subscribe. If you want to support further, you can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew V. Long and this old Hajdu for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.